Hello my soccer universe to this another unveiling video. Yes, it's another England shirt and I'm all decked out in England here. Uh, but it's actually to prove a point. I mean, this is my recently acquired England collection. This is the first one that I got at, uh, at the end of the 2018 World Cup, a jersey that I really liked, uh, which was my, then my first England jersey. I always knew I wanted to have a red England jersey when I got really into collecting. I have to see this 2010 one has such a classic look. I mean, this could very well be the one from 1966. Absolutely love it. I got during the last Euros, I saw the centenary, oh, not the centenary, 150 year home jersey for a really cheap price. Yes, it has a few fl uh, uh, blemishes and, and so on. But this was always an England shirt. Yes, it looks a little bit like a USA shirt, but also looks very much like a classic English shirt. I wanted to have it, and you know, 150 years, you cannot go wrong. Still um, lament a bit that I didn't get the away jersey because I also had the choice for uh, the chance for that for a relatively slim price. And then for a door cheap, I think it was 10 euros, maybe 20, but I think it was 10, 10 euros. I got the 2006 home jersey as well. It's a jersey that especially, and let me push this over, especially because of the uh, red cross going over here that I always really enjoyed. Um, I have to say, I always had a soft spot for the jerseys from 2000 to 2006. I, I actually like all of them, although they're very much of that era. Yes, of course, the 1990, the even the, 94, the one that would have been worn in the USA, 94 and the 96. The 90, yeah, they're all kind of nice, but there's a soft spot for, for me for these uh, four with uh, probably the uh, spot going to the 2002 because the off-center uh, red strap, it's a really, really nice one. But honestly, with having three white ones, I didn't really see a need for getting another one. I will agree that probably another red one would be nice and probably one around the 2006 work of a Euro 2004, maybe, but you know, we'll see about that. However, there was one thing, and this is a recent trend, because for me England was always white home jersey, red away jersey, and they barely ever strayed from that. Of course, until I started the channel, they started, suddenly started to stray from that quite a bit. We had at Euro 2, uh, 2020, we had this blue away jersey. We had Euro 2012, they had the black away jersey that I almost bought uh, also during the Euros while I was get, 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 getting this. But then, uh, although it was a good, good price, I ultimately decided not to because I was not sure about the overall condition so much. So that's why I let that one go. Um, but then at the last women's Euro, they had also a blue away jersey. So I said, yeah, I probably should look for a blue England jersey uh, to kind of, if you like, complete the collection. And I went recently in Wilhaben um, and I saw one. And to be honest, when I saw it, it, it kind of looked up, but I remember when this one was, was released, I thought this is a really nice looking shirt. This might be one of the best looking England shirts in a long, 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 long time. And let me show it. I already have unpacked it. Uh, the video did not work out well, so I'm reshooting -shoot this, but at least I can explain a little bit better now. Let me show you. I actually think it's a really nice jersey and I was, I think I got it for 20 euros. I cannot believe it because I checked it on eBay. I mean, all the tags had tags uh, sent to me. Who can believe that this was sold at this price here in Austria? Because on eBay, uh, I can find it the cheapest for 90 euros and so on. So uh, really pleased. The only thing is could have been an XL, but it's the 2017 third jersey. Yes, it's this weird template and maybe the darker sleeves is what actually um, scared me off for just a sec. But I have to say the overall look of this one is really nice. And then getting the approval from my wife. Uh, really liking this one. Uh, sealed more or less the deal. I also think that the three lions in just monochromatic, in a way it works. Yes, the roses in blue look weird, but also the blue star here, I, this just works to, uh, to, to me. The only thing I wish that the sleeves, I think it's maybe the only thing I would change in the sleeves to be the same color as the body, but this was not the styling back then. I also find it really nice that we have the same uh, blackish or really really dark navy blue here on the side striping but yeah I think this is this is near 
ideal of a ball, about the one to have. It fits, it's bluish. Sometimes Indian goes darker, sometimes they, they go lighter, but I think this is really nice. It's actually a unique look. As far as I know, it was only worn once in a home friendly against Germany. So there you have it, all my five England shirts that I have in my collection now. Uh, I wanna actually pay attention to this more as well. I think it fits quite nicely in the collection, personally. Um, and yeah, you see the crest also sticks. I, I really like that they went now with a slightly bigger three line last crest. This one is slightly smaller and the old ones are also a little bit slightly smaller. So I really like that feature of these shirts. And yeah, it's something different. I mean, overall with England jerseys, yes, sometimes they now, you know, when I look at the World Cup jer uh, the jersey, uh, having a little bit more blue on the jersey is something popular, I guess, going back to Euro 96. But given that England has now a very classy look coming up for Euro 24, I think England, check mark, looks all fine to me. Any case, let me know what you think about this. Jer uh, jersey and my overall England collection. If you like, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.